Good morning, everyone. We pray together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we hear one of the most famous passages of all scripture. And it really is, sounds so simple. But we know sometimes following the words that we're going to hear is not always simple. So we ask that the Lord will bless us that we may have the strength and the wisdom and the courage to hear his word and to live by them. Lord Jesus, you call us to love our enemies. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to turn the other cheek. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to be a people of generous hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, knowledge inflates with, inflates with pride, but love builds up. If anyone supposes he knows something, he does not yet know what he ought to know. But if one loves God, one is known by him. So about the eating of meat sacrificed to idols, we know that there is no idol in the world and that there is no God but one. Indeed, even though there are so-called gods in heaven and on earth, there are, to be sure, many gods and many lords. Yet for us, there is just one God, the Father, from whom all things are and for whom we exist, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, for whom all things are and through whom all we exist. But not all have this knowledge. There are some who have been so used to idolatry up until now that when they eat meat sacrificed to idols, their conscience, which is weak, is defiled. Thus, through your knowledge, the weak person is brought to destruction, the brother for whom Christ died. When you sin in this way against your brothers and wound their consciences, weak as they are, you are sinning against Christ. Therefore, if food causes my brother to sin, I will never eat meat again so that I may not cause my brother to sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks. The response is, guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O Lord, you have probed me, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways, you are familiar. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Truly, you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Probe me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. See if my way is crooked and lead me in the way of old. Alleluia, alleluia. 
If we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now this morning, I'm not going to preach. Uh, rather, I'm going to read the gospel slowly, and I'm going to invite you to use it as a reflection point for yourself in private, almost as uh, perhaps an examination of conscience. And then we will just take a moment in quiet after the reading. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear, I say, Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you, and from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that for you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies, do good to them, lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be called children of the Most High, for he himself is kind even to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will be returned, measured to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. So recognizing the difficulty that sometimes comes in hearing these words and in taking them into our hearts and then living them, we say again, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. We stand as we offer our prayers. that God will help us to hear these words of peace, of kindness, and compassion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That we may truly come to be able to embrace love of our enemies, blessings for those who curse us, and kindness to those who strike us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That we may turn away from judgment, that we may not be judged, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may recognize that what we take uh, put into the world comes back to us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick, who seek God's healing this day, and for those who care for them. And we pray for those who have died, 
that they may rejoice in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for our Mass intention today, Richard Sanquist, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. God of all goodness and peace, hear the prayers that we bring before you. Bless us, Lord, so that we may accept your peace into our hearts, so that we may live by your word. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread and wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual food and drink. And blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, our loving Father. Amen. O God, who gives us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before we go too much further, let's also remember in our prayers uh, those who are suffering from the fires in California, which are raging there. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder. To rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and glorious resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Lays, our Bishop, with priests, deacons, religious men and women, seminarians, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember our brothers and sisters who have died in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, St. George, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Together we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, and you say to each of us, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. We offer a sign of Christ's love and peace. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of our world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those who are watching at home, I invite you now to make a spiritual act of communion, asking that the Lord will enter into your heart and into your life.
Let us pray. O Lord, grant that your faithful, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, this Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a beautiful day, everyone.